coverage to get you ready for those soaring temperatures expected this afternoon. We have Elise Haas on standby to talk about the health dangers and how you can stay safe outdoors today. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Kelly Bayern for a look at how hot it's going to get today. Kelly? Well, pretty toasty. Probably the first uh, hot day in the 90s of this year so far. So uh, we do have a heat advisory in place from noon today till 9 p.m. on Wednesday. The hottest points of our day will be the afternoons and everywhere in yellow there, the urban areas down the Willamette Valley are expecting to hit at least the low 90s today. So prepare for that. Drink water. Don't leave uh, special items in your car that may melt or even pets in there today. Uh, we will see quite the scorcher going into the afternoon. High temperatures yesterday, we hit the mid to upper 80s and we will climb even more. Almost about 20 degrees above the normal temperature for this time of the year is expected going into today. So a hot one out there. Keep that in mind. As we start this morning, we're in the mid 60s, pretty comfortable, but by the afternoon in the mid 90s. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Kelly. And if you venture outdoors in the heat today, be mindful of the dangers when it comes to your health. And that includes heat stroke. And we want to join Elise Haas, who has some tips to keep you and your family safe today. Elise? Yes, Ken and Jenny. I mean, you heard Kelly. She said that we're going to be flirting with that near record heat today, and we're going to have a lot of hot temperatures the rest of this week as well. So there's some things that you just want to keep in mind if you and your family are going to be spending some extra time outdoors in the sunshine. So the thing is, Ken and Jenny mentioned heat stroke and heat exhaustion are possible. That happens when the body isn't able to properly cool itself, and most of the time this affects older adults, folks with health issues, and young young kids. But this really can happen to anyone if the conditions are right. So that can actually cause damage to the brain and other vital organs. So it's really important that you stay cool during this hot temperature. So the CDC suggests wearing lightweight and light colored clothing. And during the hottest points of the day, stay indoors. I know a lot of us, like myself, I don't have air conditioning in my apartment or other people don't have it in their houses. So you might want to either go to a public place instead to find some air conditioning, whether that's a mall or a restaurant. It doesn't matter. Just try and stay cool in some in some different ways. You can also schedule your outdoor exercise when it's coolest. So early mornings about now and then also in the later evenings as well. And then if you do want to take your kids to the parks, you can also keep them cool by taking them to pools and the water parks as well here in Portland. And of course, here's some things that you already know, but maybe not do stay hydrated to drink extra water at this time. Put on your sunscreen and reapply often. And more than anything, like Kelly also mentioned, do not ever leave your kids or your pets in the cars for any amount of time during these really hot temperatures. It can quickly heat up to very dangerous temperatures and it's not safe for your kids and your pets. I have some more information about how to keep your pets safe and cool during this hot weather and I'll have that for you in the next half hour. But for now, reporting live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Good advice. Thank you, Elise.